Sister. I have a question I'd like to ask. Okay. Jesus spoke of the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven as he came to do the work. Has Almighty God also revealed mysteries? Could you fellowship on the mysteries revealed by Almighty God? It would help in identifying God's voice. Yes. 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 I'd like to you fellowship with us. Yes. You say Almighty God is the return of the Lord Jesus. I'd like to hear what mysteries Almighty God has revealed. If Almighty God really is able to speak mysteries unknown to us, then we'll be convinced. Each time God becomes flesh, he reveals so many truths and mysteries to us. This is without a doubt. It's so. God becomes flesh in order to save mankind. And so, he naturally expresses many truths and reveals mysteries. In the Age of Grace, for instance, Jesus Christ revealed many mysteries while preaching and doing his work, such as repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, and not everyone that said to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that does the will of my Father which is in heaven. The Lord Jesus also revealed many other mysteries, which I won't go into now. In the last days, Almighty God has performed judgment beginning from God's house and has expressed all truths for man's salvation. Almighty God not only has accomplished all prophecies of Lord Jesus, but also laid bare to us the great mysteries of the past and present and of the future, which relate to God's management plan. Yes. Yes. Right. Next, a passage of Almighty God's Word. Okay. okay. This stage of work will elucidate for you the law of Jehovah and the redemption of Jesus, and is principally so that you may understand the entire work of God's 6,000-year management plan and appreciate all the significance and substance of this 6,000-year management plan, and understand the purpose of all the work done by Jesus and the words he spoke, and even your blind credence in and adoration of the Bible, all this it will allow you to perceive. You will come to understand both the work done by Jesus and the work of God today, you will understand and behold all of the truth, the life, and the way. In the end, this current stage will bring God's work to a complete end and will provide its conclusion. All will come to understand and know of God's management plan, the conceptions within man, his intentions, his erroneous understanding, his conceptions toward the work of Jehovah and Jesus, his views about the Gentiles, and all his absurdities will be corrected. And man will understand all the right paths of life and all the work done by God and the entire truth. When that happens, this stage of work will come to an end. Amen. Praise the Wonderful. Lord. So great. Seems reading Almighty God's Word can make us know the truth and mysteries. After listening to the words of Almighty God today, I really have understood many truths that I did not understand before. Everyone, Almighty God has revealed the mysteries of His 6,000-year management plan for mankind's salvation. Yes. He also has told us God's aim in managing mankind. He's shown why God's done three stages of work to save man how these three stages progressed step by step, and the connections and differences between them. He's also told us the significance of the names of God, how God performs judgment during the last days, and the significance of judgment. He has revealed to us the mysteries of the incarnation and the inside story of the Bible, and has shown to us God's the source of all life, and how God rules all things and he has told us of God's unique authority, God's almightiness, holiness, 
and righteous disposition. What's more, Almighty God has also revealed to us how mankind has developed up until today, how Satan has corrupted mankind, and told us the truth of man's corruption by Satan, the source of corrupt mankind's opposition and betrayal of God, how God works to save mankind, how Satan carries out cunning schemes to interrupt and disturb God's work, and how God defeats Satan and ends Satan's fate and how Almighty God has shown us the meaning of a real life, how people should live in order to be truly happy, as well as the ends of different types of people, the true destination of mankind, and how God will bring this age to an end, how Christ's kingdom shall come about, and so on. These mysteries have all been revealed by Almighty God, Amen. 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 Wonderful. Wonderful. From what's been revealed by the Lord Jesus and from Almighty God, we can see that these mysteries all relate to God and to the kingdom of heaven, as well as to God's future accomplishments. These mysteries are all related to God's management plan and to the destination of mankind. Amen. There is profound meaning of God's revelation in these mysteries. From the truths and mysteries revealed by Lord Jesus and Almighty God, we can ascertain that all these words are God's voice. Amen. Amen. For none but God could know these mysteries. Only God Himself knows. The angels don't know, much less does mankind know. Amen. The truths and mysteries revealed by Lord Jesus and Almighty God are the expression of one Spirit and the work of one God. Amen. Amen. Almighty God's judgment of the last days continues from the work done by the Lord Jesus. It fulfills the words of the Lord Jesus. I have yet many things to say to you but you cannot bear them now. However, when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. That's true. These facts prove Almighty God is truly the return of the Lord Amen. Jesus. Amen. That Almighty God is the appearance of God. Amen. 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 Almighty God has revealed to us all the mysteries of the yes. Bible. Yes, Almighty God truly is the appearance of God. That's right. Brothers and sisters, Almighty God reveals the truths and mysteries that corrupt mankind should understand and enter to be saved. Indeed. So we feel clear, peaceful, and bright in our faith of God. In this way, we can enter the right track of belief in God. That's right. We need but accept and obey the work of Almighty God and enter all the truths expressed by Almighty God so that we will gain the truth and enter into the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Amen. Let's hear a passage in which Almighty God reveals the mystery of God's disposition. Okay. 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 The disposition of God is one that belongs to the ruler of the living beings among all things, to the Lord of all creation. His disposition represents honor, power, nobility, greatness, and most of all, supremacy. His disposition is the symbol of authority and all that is righteous, beautiful, and good. Moreover, it is a symbol of how God cannot be suppressed or attacked by the darkness and any enemy force, as well as a symbol of how he cannot be, and indeed is not allowed to be, offended by any created being. His disposition is the symbol of the highest power. No person or persons may or can disturb his work or his disposition. The pleasure of God is due to the existence and emergence of righteousness and light because of the destruction of darkness and evil. 
He takes pleasure because he has brought the light and a good life to mankind. His pleasure is one of righteousness, a symbol of the existence of all that is positive and, most of all, a symbol of auspiciousness. The anger of God is due to the existence of injustice and the disturbance it causes that are harming his mankind. Because of the existence of evil and darkness, the existence of things that drive out the truth, and even more so because of the existence of things that oppose what is good and beautiful. His anger is a symbol that all things negative no longer exist and, moreover, is a symbol of His holiness. His sorrow is due to mankind, for whom He has hopes, but who has fallen into darkness, because the work He does on man does not reach His expectations and because the mankind he loves cannot all live in the light. He feels sorrow for the innocent mankind, for the honest but ignorant man, and for the good but ambivalent man. His sorrow is a symbol of his goodness and of his mercy, a symbol of beauty and of kindness. His happiness, of course, comes from defeating his enemies and gaining the good faith of man. Moreover, it comes from the expulsion and destruction of all enemy forces and mankind receiving a good and peaceful life. The happiness of God is unlike the joy of man. Rather, it is the feeling of receiving pleasant fruits a feeling even greater than joy. His happiness is a symbol of mankind breaking free of suffering and entering a world of light. Amen. Amen. Almighty God has revealed what God's disposition represents and the symbolism and meaning of God's disposition. He shows the relations of pleasure, anger, sorrow, and joy in God's disposition and mankind. Apart from God Himself, who else could speak of God's disposition so clearly? Who could know the meaning and symbolism of God's disposition? From ancient times until today, no one has given such an accurate testimony to God's disposition. That leaves people convinced. Amen. I am indeed true. Only God can testify to His disposition so accurately. God's happiness, anger, sorrow, and joy are shown in His work of managing mankind. As we experience God's work, we too are able to truly savor and sense that the pleasure, anger, sorrow, and happiness in God's disposition are not just words, but are actual. They are real and vivid. God's pleasure, anger, sorrow, and happiness all express the substance of God's life. They're the reality of positive things and symbols of righteousness. Yes. Amen. That's indeed true. Indeed. Indeed. We can see in God's work of saving mankind, the pleasure, anger, sorrow, and joy revealed by God are for man's survival. They're so man can break free from the affliction of Satan and live in the light. Yes. There to lead mankind into the beautiful destination. Amen. During God's salvation of mankind, we have seen that God truly controls everything and rules everything. God's disposition is the symbol of the highest authority. Amen. It's a symbol that no forces of darkness can either suppress or harm. And no hostile force can ever stop God from carrying out His will. Amen. Amen. Remember the Age of Grace, when Lord Jesus was working. The religious leaders frantically condemned and opposed Him. They joined forces with Rome's government to nail the Lord Jesus to the cross. Yet God's wisdom is exercised based upon Satan's schemes. It was through Jesus' crucifixion that all mankind was redeemed. Yes. Yes. And the gospel of the Lord spread throughout the world. 
Also, those who opposed and condemned God's work met with God's punishment. Unoffendable is God's righteous disposition. Amen. Amen. It's easy. The age of kingdom has arrived. Since he began the work of judgment in China, this staunch bastion of atheism, the incarnate Almighty God has been again frantically opposed and condemned by religious leaders. So too have there been the cruel arrests and persecutions by the satanic CCP regime. Yet the kingdom gospel of Almighty God has spread across all mainland China. Millions of true believers of God in various sects have returned before God's throne. The truths expressed by Almighty God are available online to be searched and sought by people from all around the world. Yes. Almighty God's words carry authority and power. They've conquered countless hearts. In particular, those who truly believe in God and thirst for the true way have all returned before God's Amen. throne Amen. and enjoy being provided for by God's words. Almighty God has made a group of overcomers and gained a group of people who are of one mind with God. Amen. Amen. That's great. Truly great. We finally hear God's voice. Amen. Those in the religious community who oppose God's work, meanwhile, have all been punished and cursed to varying degrees. Some have been revealed to be antichrists and have met with punishment that is unbearably harsh. Their deaths have been worse than Judas. We see that God's righteous disposition is truly unoffendable to man. Yes. Amen. The satanic CCP regime, which competes with and has set itself against God, has also been cursed. It's destined to be destroyed, which well demonstrates God's righteous disposition. Amen. From the work of the two incarnations of God, we can see the unique authority of God, which controls all things. God's disposition is a symbol that He can't be suppressed by dark forces. Amen. 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 All forces hostile to God shall topple amid God's punishment and cease to exist. This is fact. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, over the years, we've experienced the judgment in Almighty God's words. We've seen God's disposition is merciful and compassionate, righteous and majestic. Many times we don't understand His will and so misunderstand God. Yet God reminds us, comforts, and exhorts us, and this allows us to experience God's mercy and compassion. But when we disobey God, He severely judges, reveals, and disciplines us. Thus we can appreciate God's disposition as righteous and unoffendable. Amen. Amen. During our real experiences, we have seen how true, how real and vivid God's disposition is. God is so holy, so righteous, so amiable and venerable. God has really and truly appeared to work among man, face to face with us, personally guiding us and saving us. Amen. Amen. Almighty God is our Lord and is our God, Amen. the one true God who created the heavens and earth and rules over all things. Amen. Amen. So clearly, does Almighty God testify to God's disposition? That we know God's pleasure, anger, sorrow, and joy. Yes. yes. Only God Himself could speak so thoroughly of God's disposition. Amen. Amen. Today, we finally heard the Lord's voice. Our wait has ended. This is the grace of God. Amen. Amen. Day and night have we yearned, and finally the Lord has returned. Yes. If we did not listen to Almighty God's words, we'd still wait for Jesus to arrive on a cloud to take us to the kingdom of heaven. That way, no matter how watchful we are, it would be for nothing. Yes. Praise the Lord! Though we have not experienced Almighty God's work of the last days, given the accomplishments and words of Almighty God and experiences of which you've spoken, we see Almighty God has truly begun the work of judgment and purification, Amen. and indeed has made a group of overcomers and gained a group of people who are of one mind with Him. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. I'm positively and absolutely convinced.
Today, we can hear the Lord's voice and behold His appearance. This truly is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for us. This is such an enormous blessing. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. We thank Almighty God. We are truly blessed by God to be able to recognize God's voice and return before God's throne. Amen. Amen. I've had faith for years and believed I need only hold to the Lord's name, forsake all for the Lord, spread the testimony of His name, and work hard. This, I thought, was being faithful. By thus watching and waiting, I thought I'd welcome the Lord and enter the kingdom of heaven. I didn't imagine that when the Lord returned and sent people to preach to me, I'd stubbornly refuse and cling to my conceptions. I thought I knew God and would surely be raptured. So I did not seek to hear His voice. The Lord knocked on my door many times, yet I shut Him out. I condemned those who spread the gospel. To watch and wait like that was ridiculous. I was one who believed yet did not know God. And whilst following my conceptions and imaginings, I did much that opposed God. I truly walked the path of the Pharisees. How I detest myself for believing in God all those years without seeking the truth or magnifying Him in my heart. I worked hard for the Lord to be rewarded and enter the kingdom of heaven. I was so despicable. I was not fit to come before God. <laughs> Almighty God has taken mercy on me despite this. Thanks be to Almighty God. Yes. He has allowed me to hear His voice. Be face to face with Him and accept His salvation. Amen. God truly uplifts us in exceptional ways. Amen. God's love for us is great. Thanks Amen. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. The Bible is the Bible, of course, and God is God. The Bible and God are two different things and cannot be compared. The King has gained the victory, seated on the glorious throne. Has redeemed His people and is leading them to appear. God has His own intention in every single thing that He does, even though humans cannot see that intention. It is always very much related to mankind's survival. It is inseparably related to it. It is indispensable. <laughs>